All right, so things are starting to heat up here in New Braunfels. We had three days in the 80s this past week, including today. And we've actually got a cold front on the way this week. But I did want to show y'all that we're starting to get this green haze in the lawn here, especially from about this line right here over to the fence. And then by the house, you actually see the effect that shade has on Bermuda. So Bermuda does not like shade. And right here by the house is where you get more shade just because of the angle of the sun throughout the day. And it doesn't start getting a whole lot of sunlight until later in the spring and into the summer. So this part of the yard is gonna transition later than the rest of the lawn on this side. But when we start getting that green haze in the lawn, that's when we wanna start thinking about scalping. What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. I wanted to show y'all what this new growth looks like as it's poking through the dormant layer. And when you start to get this green haze across your entire lawn is when you know it's time to scalp. And when you're scalping, the goal is just to remove as much of that dormant dead grass as possible because that's going to allow the sun to heat up the soil faster. It's gonna allow nutrients and water to reach that soil layer more quickly. And most importantly, you're gonna be able to see the green grass poke through faster because it doesn't have to work its way through as much dormant grass and it's going to allow for a quicker green up in the spring. So I've already actually done this section of the lawn. I did the front lawn last weekend in anticipation of filming this weekend and I know that takes a lot of extra time when you add the YouTube aspect of everything. So I took this part of the lawn down to 0.35 inches when I scalped and I dethatched just to pull even more of that dormant grass up. So I got five or six bags from this section of the lawn and the goal today is to knock out the side yard and then the backyard. Before we get started, I wanted to let y'all know that the Lawn Insider merch store is running its first promotion of 2022, and that's going to be 20% off if you use the promo code SPRING, all caps, and I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description box below. So I've already pre-scalped the side and the back down to 0.4 inches, and my maintenance height of cut, the one I'll maintain it at the rest of the year, is around half an inch, but the goal of the scalp is to get it down to 0.35 inches inches but I'm not going to do that just in one pass because that's not what your machine is built for and it will bog down pretty fast and also you would just constantly be emptying either your bag or your basket so right now I have it set to 0.375 inches and my goal is from this point to get it done in two more passes at this height and then I'll lower it down to that 0.35 inches and this is one of the few times of the year where you absolutely have to bag your clippings because you can't just let that dead dormant grass lay on top of your lawn, which is why it's important to take your yard down in small increments because it makes that bagging process a lot more manageable. All right, so we're about to start the scout, but I wanted to let y'all know that it's probably a good idea to wear a mask or a neck gaiter or something over your mouth and your nose just because you don't want to take that dirt, dust, or those tiny grass particles into your lungs. You always take 
All right, so I've got it lowered down to 0.35 inches now, which is the final height. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and jump back in when I'm done. Just knocked out my last scalp cut at 0.35 inches. And right now we are sitting at eight bags of clippings. And I wanted to show y'all what the final scalp looks like. So you've already seen a little bit of the front yard and you'll actually notice here that the front yard is going to look like it got scalped lower than the rest of the lawn. And that's because I've already dethatched this area. I'm going to dethatch the side and the back as well, but that's actually gonna be next week's video. So y'all aren't gonna see that until next week. But here we are at 0.35 inches on the side. And I will go ahead and speed us up on this walk to the back here. And here is the scalp in the back. It's really important that after you mow, you go ahead and raise the height of cut on your mower to your maintenance height of cut, and then you wanna mow frequently. So at least once a week, and really I would recommend twice a week, because if you let your grass get too high again, the next time you mow, you're gonna scalp, and then you're gonna have to do this whole height of cut reset stuff all over again. And trust me, this is too much work. You do not wanna do this more than once or twice a season because I've already put in like 26,000 steps today and I haven't even gotten to the dethatching. I also wanted to point out that the dethatching or verticutting part of what I'm doing is completely optional. And in reality, I'm probably just doing it because clearly I am a glutton for punishment, but all that part of it's gonna do is thin out the turf even more and make it even easier for that new growth to pop through. Once you get the scalp knocked out, you can go ahead and make your first fertilizer application. And if you don't have any rain in the forecast, you can start your regular watering schedule. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you wanna see next week's dethatching video, make sure you hit that red subscribe button below and hit that bell so you get the notification when it is uploaded. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week, Lawn Insider, out.